All right, a quick update on the progress I've made on on my hydroponic controller. And as you can see, I've actually put it into a box and included an Ethernet shield. Those are kind of major changes um, on the hardware. I've also added, going to be adding a few more sensors, primarily temperature and humidity. So we're just gonna go through that quickly in the menu structure here. So let's go into the controls. So we have the usual pH all the way down to the DO, but in addition to that, we have 80 for air temperature, RH for relative humidity, and WH for water temperature. And when we go into there, again, we have the same control system where I can control a relay with this sensor on, off, high alarm, low alarm, delay alarm, relayed control, and whether it's in an inverted function. But what I have added is that when we're exiting menu, I have the option to whether I want to either save changes or not. Now, in terms of, oh, I've also added time and date because the Ethernet card, I'm using the SD side of it, sorry, Ethernet Shield, to actually log the data every, I'm maybe thinking every 15 or half an hour. So with that, there's actually a date time stamp on there. Now, I don't think I will be actually making or updating the time on this, but if I so choose to update the time, I have that functionality. And again, um, whether I want to save it or not. Oh. So, same principle applies for the date. Now, if you remember from the last video how we change these parameters, it's basically the same function. Get the number, can increment up or down. And I want to save. If I let's just save it. Mm. No, I'm not going to save it. So, and here we have the setting up of the network. So I can set the IP address, gate, sub mask. So in the IP address, there's the usual IP address setup. Now, you may ask, why didn't I just set up everything in a nice horizontal and why in the different menus and and set up in the vertical that's just how the menu structure is and laziness crept up in me and I just can't be bothered to set this all in a horizontal with its own customized IP address fun you know editing method this way I keep the same editing function that I'm using to edit all the other menu items so it was a lot easier doing it this way. And that's basically the changes. What's left to do really is to update the value page to include the other sensors and the date. Plus I would like to have the status of the relays better shown. And that's it so far. I'll just give you a quick tour on the inside, which this box is very hard to open, so bear with me. So here we have at the back of the front door, we have the, as you can guess, the joystick screen. And over here is the real time clock module that's stuck onto the back of the, of the display. There's the usual patch board for power board jumping. We have the a different relay module because this one has better isolation between the relay switching side and the control side consider I'm switching mains voltage there's the Atlas scientific board and as you can see I've run it out to the edge for convenience or run it out to outside for convenience and here the relay modules will be connected through the ports here 
and the other additional sensors will be oops sorry over on the side there and that's basically it all right